What's up, my Wolverine Nation? Welcome to another episode of Michigan Football, The Vlog, with your host, Dino, a.k.a. The Game. Today, we're going to be talking about Maryland versus Michigan game with some stats. Talk about Joe Milton, Rashawn Geary, Chris Evans, their injuries. Um, also, going to be talking about the game coming up Saturday, Wisconsin, and the Big House 7.30 night game. And to top that off, you know, of course, I got show and tell for you. So, let's get to it. As far as Joe Milton goes, I heard from a good source. That's Adam Biggers. I always go to him when I need some reliable information. He's really good. Check him out on YouTube if you already have it. Um, he says he don't think Joe Milton is transferring. I don't think he's transferring either. We're going to try to get some more information regarding that. As far as Rashawn Gary goes and Chris Evans, we know they were hurt. They had some injuries. They didn't play in the Maryland game. I don't know if they could have played. And he was just holding them out for the big game against Wisconsin. But I guess I'll get some more information for you leading up to the series game against Wisconsin. We know Wisconsin Badgers, they're a good team. They come into the big house. So make some noise in the big house this Saturday. We got to get loud. I mean, we got the biggest stadium in all the college football. There's no reason why it should be the quietest stadium for a night game that's going to be televised. We need to get loud, get crazy, stand up, cheer. Somebody tell you to sit down. Tell them they should have stayed at home to watch the game. On that note, we're going to get into some stats. DPJ, Ronnie Bell, Jared Wrangler, they all had a receiving touchdown. Brandon Watson, he had an interception for a touchdown to pick six. That was nice to see. Shea Patterson was 19 and 27 for 282 yards, three touchdowns, one interception. Karan Higdon, he had 25 carries for 103 yards. Zach Gentry, I'm loving that boy, Zach Gentry. I'm loving that boy. He is unstoppable. You see the height? Nobody can they, they nobody can see him. They need to get him the ball more, and that's what they're doing. Anyway, Zach has seven receptions for 112 yards. Penalties. Penalties was our major concern. I think we cut those in hand. We had six penalties for 52 yards. I cannot believe the refs are actually calling the game the way they're supposed to. Even though I still think some of those uh, calls were ghost calls. We had 465 total yards. And I'm about to get into show and tell. Because I'm about to wrap this up. Just some quick notes. Nothing long today. But anyway. This is what I got for you for show and tell today. I believe this is a Tiffany lamp. It's a Michigan lamp. It's nice. It's heavy. That's what it is right there. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I don't know if you got a good view of that. I'm pretty sure you did. On that note, you guys know College Game Day is coming to the big house. I'm going to College Game Day. I hope to see you at College Game Day. I hope to see you making a lot of noise in the big house this Saturday at 7.30. Night game versus Wisconsin. We need to take them boys now. We need to keep this momentum rolling. I don't know if I said down, but we need to take these boys down. Keep that momentum rolling. Um, that's all I got for y'all. Stay true. Go blue. And I'm back to work. And then I'll give y'all some updates on Rashawn Gary and Chris Evans. Holla!